Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. So today we're gonna talk about SQLite. So what is SQLite? So if you go to Google, okay, and you type SQLite, so the first site that comes up is actually the SQLite homepage. So you go to download section and you scroll down to the pre-compiled binaries for Windows. It's over here, yes. And you download this SQLite shell. Actually, it's a zip file. So I'm gonna extract it to a folder in the desktop. Okay, I've already created a folder named test. And I'm gonna extract uh, this uh, executable file into this folder. And here we go. Okay. So actually, it's a file.exe. So what does it mean? Actually, SQLite is the most widely deployed SQL database engine in the world. It does not require a separate server process or system to operate and it comes with a zero configuration and also as you can see it's very small and a lot of applications use this database engine so in order to, sh to show you how we can work with it let's uh, launch our uh, command prompt and we go to our directory so we're gonna create a database using SQLite so in order to create a database all you have to do is to type SQLite 3 and the name of our database let's make it for example customer customer.db so now we have just created our database named customer.tp. Now we're gonna create some tables, at least one. So let's create a table. So there is a special syntax in order to create a table. So in order to create a table, let's say for example client, we use the syntax create table client and we put the name of our columns for example the first column would be an id which is integer teacher teacher yes and let's make second column which is name okay we'll put it uh, as a var character of uh, 50 and finally, let's put, uh, for example, um, a country, which is of our character of 20, for example. And don't forget the semicolon at the end. So now we have created our table named client inside our database named customer. So now we're gonna insert some data into this table, client. So in order to put some data in the table, we use the syntax insert into the name of the table, client, and the values. So the first value is integer, so let's make it one. The name, let's make for example, Adams. And country, let's make it uh, France, for example. Let's add another one. Uh, the same syntax, we, all we have to do is change the values. Let's make I mean, for example, and for the country, we make Germany. Yes, let's make a third one. 
let's make for example John yes John and from USA so now we have inserted three lines or three data into our table so in order to display it all we have to do is to execute the query select all from the table name from client as you can see we have the result of our table created three data into our table so as you can see SQLite allows us to create database to create table and it's very useful because it's very light and you can use it in your standalone application or in your mobile application for example okay so just to finish I will show you another program that you can use it with this SQLite as you can see if you are not familiar with the commands there is a graphical interface for to manage this, this uh, database engine so if you go to Google and you type SQLite browser SQLite browser okay SQLite database browser so and you go to SourceForge site and you download this application actually I already downloaded it so if you unzip it you will find actually user interface called SQLite database browser and if you open it and you go to the directory where we have created our database named customer okay so I'm gonna open it customer as you can see you can find here the table we have just created with the three columns and also the data browse data you can see all the data you have entered and you can use this program to create tables and to create uh, data as you, you can see in a very suitable way it's very useful and just to finish also I'm going to show you a very famous application that uses SQLite database it's called it's very famous it's a uh, Skype actually Skype uses SQLite database in order to store all the contacts all the chats or all, all of that so using this SQLite, SQLite database browser we're gonna open the database of, uh, of Skype so if we go to our partition windows partition yes and users Christopher application data Roman and here over here Skype and here you can find your account in Skype we ha I have two accounts one named amin.f and another one ch the angel so for example if I go to this one and I scroll down I found here a file named main.dp actually this main.dp is our SQLite database if we open it and here you can find all the table that Skype uses you can find all your chat numbers you can find all your calls all your conversations all all so all the accounts and uh, it's a very essential file so if you want to see all your uh, history of messages or your contacts you're gonna go here okay I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing thank you